Now I am going to solve this problem 153. In this problem it is said that a 25 kg computer and a 10 kg laser printer rest on a horizontal table top. So it is said they determine the resultant of the system of two corresponding weights and specify the coordinates of the point P in the XY plane through which the resultant passes, right? So we have to replace these uh, two weights of this computer and this printer by a single resultant and then we need to find the coordinates of that resultant on this table top from this origin, right? And it is said that the two weights act at the points G1 and G2, right? So this is G2 and this is G1, right? So we will draw those weights at these two points and those weights will act vertically downward, right? So if, if I draw the weight of this laser printer, so it will act at this point G2 and this that weight will be acting downward, right? So let's suppose if this is that vector. And the magnitude of this vector will be 10 since this pr uh, printer has a weight of 10 kg. So it will be 10 into 9.81 newtons, right? Similarly, if you want to represent the weight of this computer, so it will act at this point G1, right? So this will be that representation which will work, act vertically downward. And its magnitude will be 25 into 9.81, right? So these are those two weights vector which are acting in the vertically downward direction in the z negative z-axis, right? So these are those two vectors. So now if you want to find the resultant of both of these vectors, so the resultant will be equal to the summation of all forces along z. Since both the forces are acting in the z direction, so this will be equal to 10 into 9.81 plus 25 into 9.81. And since both of these are acting in the negative z direction, so we will write minus k, right? So the resultant vector comes out to be minus 343k newton meter. So this is the resultant vector of both of these uh, weights, right? So now we will find the moment due to these two weights at point O. So the moment at point O, and if you want to find first the x coordinate the x component of that moment, right? So moment about O along x. So if we observe, observe these forces from this direction, from the x axis direction. So this red one, this red vector, this 10 into 9.81 vector, the weight of this laser printer will produce the moment about x in this direction, right? And if we curl our right hand finger, so the thumb will point out in the negative x direction and similarly this other weight is also producing the same moment in the same direction right so we will add up the moments of both of these along the x axis is right and both of the moments are in the negative x direction so i will write that the moment the magnitude of the moment produced by this uh, weight is 10 into 9.81 into its perpendicular distance and the perpendicular distance of this weight is 500 mm, right? This coordinate is given, right? So from the x-axis, it has a 500 mm perpendicular distance. So 500 divided by 1000 is 0.5 meters, right? And then we will write plus and the magnitude of the moment due to this weight is 25 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from this x-axis is, is this much, this 1200 mm, right? So if we write this 1200 divided by 1000, so it will be 1.2. And both of these moments are acting in the negative i direction. So we will write it like this. So if we find the component of the moment about O along X, so then it comes out to be minus 343 along I. Now to find the moment about O along the Y axis is, so we will observe, we will look to these two forces from this uh, direction, right? So if we look into these two forces from this direction, so this weight is producing the moment about Y in this direction, right? This weight and this weight, both are producing the moment along Y in the same direction. And if we curl our right hand fingers, so the thumb will point out in this direction, right? So this means that both of these weights are producing counterclockwise moment about Y, right? So we will write, we will add up 
the moments of both the weights right so this will be plus right and the moment the magnitude of the moment produced by this weight will be 25 into 9.81 into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular for distance for this g1 for this weight is this 600 mm so 600 divided by 1000 will give us 0.6 meters right and similarly we will write the we will add up the magnitude of the moment of this weight so this will be 10 into 9.81 into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance of this g2 from the y axis is, is this 300 mm right so we will write 0.3 right and both of these are acting towards the the moments are produced along the positive y axis so we will write this plus g so if we solve this so the component of the moment at point o along y comes out to be plus 176.6 j right and this is in newton meters and this is also in newton meters and similarly if we want to find the component of the moment about point o along the z axis so since both the forces are parallel to the z axis so they will never produce the moment about z axis so this will be equal to 0 right so if we represent the moment at point o by a vector so this will be that vector representation so it will be minus 343 i plus 176.6 j now in this problem you are also asked to find the coordinates of the point p in the xy plane through which the resultant passes right so let's assume that the resultant of both of these forces is passing through a point let's suppose this point let's suppose that this is that point p right so let's suppose if i draw that uh, single resi resultant so it will be again acting in the negative z direction at this point p right but before this if we represent both of those weights by a uh, force couple system at this point o so first what we will do we will we will have to place this resultant at this point o which will act in the negative z direction and the moment at that point o is has one component in the negative x direction and one component in the positive y direction so if we want to represent that moment so let me draw first the components of that moment right so that moment at point o will have one component in the negative i direction so it will have one component in this direction and one component will be in this uh, positive y direction right and if we represent the moment at that point o so this will be the representation of that moment at this point o and this since this moment has two components one component is in the x and one component is in the y so this moment will be in the xy plane right so this will be its plane right so we have replaced both of those weights by a force couple system at this point o now if we move this force to this point p so then this force this resultant force must must produce that same moment uh, which it was producing at that point o right so if i write that this is that resultant right and if we move this resultant from that point o to this point so it must produce that same moment right so we need to have such a moment arm from this point o so that it should produce that same moment let's suppose if this is that moment arm from this point o to p let's say that this is that moment arm for this resultant and if we take the cross product of this moment arm with this r so it should produce that same moment at point o which it was producing let's say that this point p has a distance of x from the from this point o along x right so if i draw that distance let's suppose if if i draw a vector 
let's suppose if I draw that we have to travel in this direction and then we have to travel in this direction to reach that point P. So let's say that along X we need to travel the X distance and along Y we need to travel this Y distance, right? So what will be the coordinates of this point P? So this will be X, Y and 0, right? Since this point P is in the X, Y plane, so the Z coordinate will be 0, right? So if you want to represent that ROP vector, so ROP, that moment arm vector will be equal to, so we will represent that are OP vector in terms of these coordinates, so it will be x i plus y j, right? So now if we take the cross product of this R O P with that resultant vector, so it must produce this same moment about point O, right? So this moment. So the R O P vector is uh, x i plus y j, and the R vector is minus 343 along the negative z direction, right? And this moment about O is minus 343i plus 176.6g, right? So if we take the cross product, so let's draw this diagram again, so i, j and k. So if we take the cross product of this, so this will be minus 343x and i cross k, so i cross k is minus j, right? So we will write, so it will become plus. And then if we take the cross product of this, so it will be minus 343y and j cross k, so j cross k is i, right? So this will be equal to minus 343i plus 176.6j. So now we will compare i, the the i component with i component and the j component with the j component, the magnitude of both, right? So if we compare both of these, so this means that minus 343y will be equal to minus 343. So this y will be equal to 1 meter, right? So this is the y coordinate of that point P. And if we compare this with this j component with j component, so this will be 343x plus 176 points uh, equal to plus 176.6 so x will be equal to 176.6 divided by 343 right so if i divide this so we will get the x coordinate of that point p through which the resultant is passing so the x coordinate comes out to be 0 0.52 meters and the y coordinate comes out to be uh, 1 meters, right? So if we represent that resultant at the exact that location, exact at, at these exact coordinates, right? So the y coordinate is plus 1 and the x coordinate is also plus, right? So this was the x coordinate that is 0 0.52, right? And plus meters, right? So as we can see that this point P is in the positive x and is in the positive y, right? So this R will be at the particular point which will have a coordinate of uh, 0 0.52, 1 and 0. So this is that 0 0.52, right? So this is the solution of this problem.